Dante has dedicated his whole career to fighting organized crime. That's not gonna change just because Sonny's his father. Aw, fresh and fabulous. What a relief. Hey, you'll be thanking me when Dante's staring into your bagless eyes with love and adoration. <laughs> Look, as for this whole Sonny thing, I think you should just be prepared for the worst case scenario. Okay, Dante was torn when he was working for Sonny because he found himself actually liking him, but ultimately he still wanted to put him in prison. But what if he's changed his mind? What if now he wants to do all that father-son bonding stuff, like hang out and drink beer? That's total speculation. It's human nature. It's also human nature to be pretty pissed off at the person who tried to kill you. He's not gonna forgive and forget. Unless the person he's really mad at is Olivia. Okay, he is mad at Olivia because she always told him she had no idea who his father was. So obviously he's gonna feel betrayed, but that will pass. This thing was Sunny, no way. Well, according to Robin, my inside source, Sunny has been hanging around Dante's hospital room acting all fatherly. If Sunny thinks he's gonna get close to Dante, he is reading way too much into what Dante did. Which is... When Lucky got Dante's statement, he said that he shot himself by accident. Well, he really must want to protect his father. No, he's he said that you know, it's enough that Sonny's going to prison for Claudia's murder and that shooting him would have been redundant. Yeah, I don't follow that at all. That just sounds like a big fat rationalization. No, it made sense when he said it to me. And, and he said it was probably the only thing that he would ever share with his father. Dante's being pulled into a gazillion different directions right now, and the only sure thing in his life is you. So you just need to make sure that you're there for him, no matter how the situation turns out. <laughs>